morning. We're just leaving Ardmere Point where we stayed last night, um, which is north of Ullapool. And we are heading to. Is it slow? We're heading to uh, Clactall Beach campsite tonight. Um, on the way, we're going to go and do the walk at uh, Knock and Crag and um, going to Ardwreck Castle and hopefully Loch Inver on the way up to Clactall Beach. Sounds um, good. Ardmere Point had a fantastic sunset, not last night, uh, the night before. Uh, so we set ourselves up outside Helga last night to watch the sunset. Yep. Um, there wasn't one. <laughs> no sunset for us. Um, it was quite noisy this campsite last night. Uh, there's a, a lot of a lot of people on there. Um, it, it's quite a big campsite, and there was a lot of noise from other campers. There was some no noise from the road because we are right next to the road. And um, before eight o'clock this morning, there was a lot of noise with um, motorbikes setting off. Um, they weren't just setting off. They kept their engines running. And I thought it was a generator at one point. But Ardmer is beautiful, um, as is everywhere on route. So we'll see you at Snock and Crag. See you there. A little view of the gorgeous scenery. I can say gorgeous today, can it? Gorgeous. Stop giving to drink, does it? I'll just tell you a little bit about Knock and Crag as we're travelling through and you're admiring the scenery. Knock and Crag is an interpretive trail. There are spectacular views over Asset, and the trail includes sculptures and poetry, as well as places to sit and a treasure hunt for younger children. down there to the bottom of Loch Lurgain. Loch Lurgain. Off we go. Up there. Or maybe not. Not on there. 540 million years old. Come on, go. Pipes are burrows made by sandworms. These sandworm burrows tell us there was plenty of life at the edges of the long lost ocean. The water was as warm as it is in the Bahamas today. Yeah. Not as warm as Bahamas now.
You need long legs to get up these steps. Go on, Bill. what she said. Quite at the top yet, as you can see. We're getting there though. Spin round, bit to go. Onwards and upwards. Good, Bill. <laughs> go to the mountains to read the immeasurable course of time. Theory of the Earth, 1788, Jane Cutton, Scottish geologist and founder of modern earth science. Oh. Nice one. What's Bill think to it? Yeah. So we're at the top of Knocker Crag. Yep. I knew that. About, How many feet? About 1,140 feet. So it's quite warm. Down we go. We're going to go across the top, apparently, instead of going down the steep bit. It might be steep later on, but we're going across the top, better views. Well, that's good views. Come on. This is slow as we've gone. variety is. Hey. Excuse me, she's slow. <laughs> she said little dog. Down we go. Brunch time. Down 
from there. From where? Lift me. Down there is Elga. Come on, we've got to get down there. <laughs> from up here. I'm not going that way. I'm not going down that way anyway. That one is Elga. There somewhere. Oil? Well, there we go that was the knock and crag trail very nice walk um quite energetic but not not too bad quite high beautiful views um it took about an hour and 15 an hour and 20 um with stopping to take photos definitely recommend it yeah be careful underfoot though oh. there were some um people uh, some older people behind us who turned back because it was too steep and too rough underfoot for them so if you are not sure on your feet um, you may only be able to go to the the lower bits yep yep some of the steps going up are quite deep you know that are good I don't know foot 15 inch at least steps up and I think that's where they decided they were going to turn around because they were too steep for a, um, the lady to yeah. get up so lots of information boards on the way around telling you about the area yeah. and its history the flora the fauna um lots of good viewing points <laughs> you don't need to turn it on there <laughs> lots of good viewing points um yeah very enjoyable walk yep very enjoyable now we're gonna have salmon and eggs for dinner There's the castle on the hill. Ed Sheeran. Castle on the hill. Ed Sheeran. Mother's got camera. Hey, Tom. Yes.
trees, looks like we've got palm trees. Well, maybe not palm trees, but. The apricot and peach. Rumba. They're more like for pudding than I presume. Finishing and cranberry. From the Lochinva Larder, famous for their pies, I have got steak and ale and a moretti. Lamb and a moretti. Cheers. Oh. Very nice. Very good short crust pastry. Very good. You can taste the ale in the steak. You can taste the lamb in the lamb. Not a lot on there. So we just went to a beach called, let me see, Slough? No, uh -huh. Slough. Akmelvik Beach. Akmelvik Beach. Start again. Start again. So we have 
have just been to Mrs. Slough. Well, we've just been to Akmelvik Beach to have a look at that down there. It's absolutely beautiful. Positively Maldivian, I would go as far to say. Um, white sand, crystal clear azure blue seas, absolutely stunning. We're on the road now from uh, Akmelvik to Clactol, and Clactol's our campsite for tonight. But we thought you might appreciate having a look at this stretch of road because it really is stunning. to the windscreen by Slaw. So now you've got Mrs. Slaw cam and holding it from my seat. So you've got the view here of Hamish the Highland Coo on the left and Heather of the Highland Coo on the right. And they frame my view as we're driving through the Highland. So I hope you enjoy this uh, little glimpse of Mrs. Slaw cam here. I love Mrs. Slaw. on Clactol Beach campsite. don't normally see the drive into a campsite it's usually the drive out of a campsite but uh, this is the entrance to Clactor Beach
Here we are. Blackdoll Beach. There's a dog. Helga. On the site. Cosy. Nice. There's a sea.